Good morning. Welcome back to another video. Go karts are gone fishing. Um, if this is your first time here. I do a lot of small engines, go karts, four wheelers, fishing, that kind of stuff. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, on today's video, we're going to be working on this guy. This is what I think is about an 87 quad runner, four wheel drive Suzuki. And it's in mint shape. Almost seems like everything I work on here lately is in pretty good shape, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, four wheel drive. I mean, them rims look like they're brand new, but he says they're stock. He said he did put some new tires on it. Looks good on the back. He didn't put tires on the front yet. <clears throat> um, the back tires are bigger than the front tires, which is odd, but I believe it that, that it has two different gear ratios in the front and rear. So, what I'm going to be doing on this video is rebuilding the carb. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. You got a carb kit. It's got an air filter. I believe that's a coil pack. And oil filter came in. We got two quarts of Blue Ray or Bell Ray oil and an NGK spark plug. 7912. So that's all going in there today. Or maybe over the course of two days. One thing I really like about this quad is the dash. My screen will come on. There we go. That dash is awesome. So I think that's 1,375 miles on. And I'm not sure. I think that might just be a trip gauge on the bottom. Um, I guess it's got like 20 something gears because it's got a, a high, a low. Let's see if I get over here. It's got a high, a low, and a super low, which is pretty cool. This is kind of faded, but you could still read it. Um, it's got four wheel drive, and differential lock. Here's your shifter. It's a semi automatic, I think you call it. Here's your choke, high low beam, run and off start button. And that's pretty much it on that. But this thing is in mint shape, guys. I love it. It's another buddy of mine's hunting quad, and he said he, they've had it since it was brand new. Barn kept, as you can tell. I believe it's an 87. So, I think I'm going to start working out here since the sun ain't got this far yet. It's just a little bit cooler out here in front of the garage. So, so I already had the seat off. He was kind enough to do that before he left because it's kind of confusing. Alright, there's our carb down there. It's pretty tight in there. Check out this uh, snorkeling going on here. Factory goes all the way up under here. It's pretty cool. You can pretty much take her in some deep water. I mean, this thing's in mint shape. I'm going to clean up all this leaves and stuff. And, and like I said, I've never rebuilt one of these carbs, so we're going to be doing it together. For the first time together. All right, we'll see when I get set up. Let's see what's under here. I think this is where your air filter access is gonna be. Got to start somewhere though, right? I can already tell there's a. It's just being held in place by. Check that out. It's got a nice little screw holder right there. That the carbs being held in place just with two clamps on either side. Oh lordy, she doesn't have an air filter at all. I hope that uh, that's gonna be your case. That air filter goes around. I hope that he just took it out. It looks pretty clean in there. 
I'm gonna see if I can get this out first, but I don't think I can. We'll we'll see. I'll get back with you. All right, so I have removed the little rubber boot that goes from the air box to the carburetor. That's just gonna give me a little bit more room to work. Um, so I also loosened the boot down here, and it should be fairly loose now. I haven't tried moving it around yet. Look, this hose, and this will be your main fuel hose right here. There's a little clamp down there. This spring is just to keep it from getting crimped. So I'm going to pull that clamp off and get this hose and this hose out of my way. And there's also this small hose here that I have no clue what it does. So we'll get those three out of the way and then we'll just have a few cables that we'll need to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and get those three out of the way. And you know what? I think I'm going to film or mark which one goes where so I don't get confused. Now I will know when I go to put it back together just to watch this. And you guys can just also do the same. If this video helps one person out I've done my job. So. Okay guys so I got these two they're just vent lines that go back up to the top of the gas tank. And I have this spring pulled back and held with a zip tie, and I've got my little spring clamp off. Alright guys, so I kind of jumped ahead a little bit, but it's no big deal. You guys can catch up easily. Um, so come to find out there was a fourth... Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys. Come to find out there was a fourth um, hose. So that's the fourth one. It's way down low. It's shorter than the rest. It goes on... Let's see here... Yeah, it goes right here. Uh, fail. <clears throat> All right, guys. So the next thing you want to do is only thing left to do is remove these two or these uh yeah these two cables here. So the first one, I believe this will be the throttle. So take these screws out here. I'm gonna go ahead and. Bzzz. I'm doing this all one-handed too. All right, let's see. Dun, da, da, da. All right, I know what's going on here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to get this guy off of here. You hold that like that, or a needle nose. Wiggle her on out like so. <clears throat> so that just hooks on there, just like that. Pretty same way that works. This just goes on the wire and then slides up and then locks in. See there? And that's how you get it out through this hole right here. So now we can just pop this feller out and we're down to one wire. And All right, so I had to modify this wrench a little bit. It's a cheap O12. I just put it on my bench grinder a little bit. I got plenty of these old cheapos. So it's a 12 inch you put or 12 inch it's a 12 mil and you put that bad boy on there all right once you get that there nut loose you pull it out we'll see what the ethanol did I don't want to drop nothing all right that's what you get when you pull that out there is some white powdery substance on there I might have to look at that here in a second but the carb, dun 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 dun, is out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And there she sits. All right. Now we can get into tearing this bad boy apart. All right, guys. Here she is in a nutshell. She's not too bad, you know. She's fairly clean looks good on the inside this is your idle adjust right here and uh, we're gonna start by just removing that feller set that to the side there's a little washer on there see it don't lose that washer let's go ahead and pop that feller off and take a look oh yeah she's nice and tight oh yeah she's probably never been off there she goes Zinc, zinc, and the last screw. Oh. 
How clean is it? Extremely clean for an 87. If this is an 87, I believe it is. I haven't found the marker code on it yet. There is a little bit of gunk down there in the bottom. All right, we'll put that to the side for now. Here's your float. I think this will be your low end needle and your high end needle. I'm not 100% on that. I think that's an overflow valve. All right, so let's start by popping this needle out or this uh, pin out. It only goes one way, it's got a flat side. So you gotta pop it out that way. So you don't hurt nothing. Now I gotta find my punch. There she goes. Where it won't slide back in good. So she's right there. Come on now. Let's go ahead and get that float out of the way. Small Allen key. There she goes. Allen key was the key. Mm -hmm. There. All right, look at that. Look how nice that thing slides right out. Bink. I don't know, we'll have to get into that kit here in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out. Looks like this has been in, somebody has been into this because this screw here has been fondled. Quiet on the set. All right, we're gonna pop this off. I already got them loose, so zing, 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 zing. All right, here she comes. Easy. All right here. Yeah, there's a the diaphragm. Okay. And there's your needle. Mm. I'm going to leave that on the side there. It's not horrible. All right, so we got to get this needle out and the seat out for the needle. I have already broken these loose just to make sure that they would break loose. Little Phillips head it was easy peasy to get out. Needle, and you can see through there. See how easy this comes out now. I feel it moving. It's coming. <sighs> Alright, so it's just held in there with an O-ring. If you wiggle and jiggle it a little bit, it'll pop out. Check it out, it's got a little spring on the inside. Uh, filter. Filter on the inside. Two, half. Let's see, that's half. So I'd say that's three turns in. So three turns in, Johnny. Three turns in. Remember that. Once you know how many turns in, you can back it out. I thought I'd put it back on charge. It's been charging about two days now. And there she goes. She's got a little spring. Super clean. Looks like we got a new one in our kit too, so that's awesome. We'll keep that to the side. And that is about it, folks. We can throw her in the bath. Wait. There's one more right there I see. She's kind of tight. There she goes. Let's see what comes out with her. Any, any balls, any springs? Alright, well I think that's about it guys. On screws. I don't see anything else. So, we're going to get her ready for the bath. Sorry guys, I didn't cut my fan off, so it's gonna be a little windy for this clip, but go ahead and pop this uh, old gasket out. We can reuse that. And then you got this, so that's ready to go in the bath. This bad boy's ready to go in the bath. So I got my chemical dip here. You know, you guys know the deal. Pop the lid on that baby, take a sip. And we're gonna put them in, put her in there, and let her sit for, you know, the longer you let it sit, the better. But we're gonna go for a couple hours and see what it looks like. All right, we'll see you then. 
this carburetor, this carburetor was not very dirty, so it will not be hard to clean. Here she comes. So what you got to do now is make sure the wife's taking a nap and go inside and use her sink and uh, wash it off with some Dawn dish soap and water. All right, we're going to get to putting this thing back together. Um, I'm putting a little dab of oil on this uh, O-ring right here because she's looking rough and it didn't come with a new one. So I'm putting that on there and letting that sit for a little bit and let it soften up. Yeah, see, I'll just put it around that ring there because this kit didn't come with one. I'm also going to put a little bit around this little O-ring. And I put that filter off of the other one on here. You guys can do that too. Alright. So, I believe we can put this fella back in there. And it just pops into place. I pushed it down with my thumb, it went right in and clicked. And then that took this little screwdriver here, little Phillips. My good Phillips is over there, but this one will work. Johnny. <laughs> Actually, I think this one goes here. Yes. And then I believe I can put my foot needle back on. So yeah, that one there. By the way, folks, how do you think? Came out pretty clean, don't you think? Yes, it did. She looks like brand new. Just lost my needle. So, yep. Make sure you blow out all your passageways, which I did off camera, but yeah, make sure you do that. Matter of fact, when you're washing it out, you can check it with your mouth. That's what I do. I just put my mouth on it and blow it out. But if you got air compressor. All right, folks. So there's been a breaking development. Um, I guess I missed this needle here, but I've already unscrewed it. A little pecker head got away from me. I didn't see it. Um, so it's out. That passage is all cleaned out now. Blow through it, it's good. This little pecker head goes back in it. See what I mean by pecker head, right? Alright, so anyway, put that feller in there. This on it, I think. With the spring. Because remember, it was three turns out. It's tight. F, one, F, two, F, three. And this guy, I'm gonna have to go watch my footage and see where it goes, because I can't remember. Oh, you know what? I remember now. It goes right here. So we can tighten her down. Now, Put our slidey jiggy me. I don't know what the hell you call this. There's, it's definitely a slide with a needle. Now, slide that bad boy back on there. And I believe it only goes one way. So you see on this O ring, it's got a little half moon shape. And there's your half moon shape there. Make sure your needle goes through the hole line up your half moon shapes slam this baby back together and get back with you okay I have applied my new o-ring into the bowl see how pretty she came out my needle is in my seat all my other needles are in I am now going to put the float back in there here we go Get a, the right size socket. And that's just so you brace this back half here. You don't want to break any one of these tabs off. Now she's back in there. Needles dropping beautifully. I don't know if you can see that. That needle's dropping nice. So we can now put the bowl back on. Goes one way. So you got that and you got your four screws. Just make sure that you put your little throttle stop screw back in the right place, which goes right here. All right, we'll get back to you. Go ahead and throw those four screws in and tighten them up. But yeah, she's back together now. It's time to get her back on that 
quad and see if she's gonna run so I can warm it up and change the oil but brand new carb for you folks ready to go let's put her back on there all right guys see uh got what I, I believe this is the choke we do a little check real quick yep that's the choke all right so <clears throat> get your little spring I put all I took all this off just not to lose anything but put it all back together this will be the first thing that you want to put back on there just to make things easy and that slides down in there like so and then you got to get your 12 and very carefully thread that bad boy back in there so I have modified my 12 with a um, bench grinder just makes it easier all right so your next part will be your throttle you want to go back and find your little brass piece here you run your cable back through the hole Wait, wrong hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she said. All right, enough with the nasty jokes. Run your cable back through here. Put your little thing to jiggy back on there. How's it go? Goes like this, like so. Then you gotta mess with it till you get it around to where you need it, which can be a pain. Like I just dropped everything. Thanks for your help, Sue. Sue says I would help Daddy, but I don't have thumbs. I might have to use a pair of needle nose to hold it where I need it. And you might have to do the same. Helps if you stick your tongue out your mouth sideways a little bit. It can be done without needle nose. There you go. Got it in there. A little checkerooski. Working. All right, let's see what's next, guys. This is gonna go in like this. Let's make sure she'll go back in where she wants, needs to go. She can be a little funky getting her in there. All right, everything's going back nice. So all we really have left to do is put the side on here, cover this back up, and uh, those those vacuum lines and fuel lines. But before I hook my main main fuel line back up, this one here. Put the spring on it. I'm gonna put it all the way down under the four wheeler and drain it, see if something it can drain into. And I'll pour, pour some fuel into the tank and make sure it flushes it out a little bit, just to make sure there ain't nothing yucky in there. You can put it in a clear bottle and let it settle for a few minutes and see if you have any water in there. And then you'll want to drain the whole tank. Since you just rebuilt the carburetor, you want to make sure your gas tank's clean. So I'm gonna do that and put this cover back on, and we'll get back to putting it back in there. Open up this air filter. Really not going to hurry if you're not going in like. That's a nice filter though. Sure. Make sure it's all the way on there. Uni. Mm -hmm. Try to make it where that's facing up. I'm going to have to pull it back. Alright, we're going to try this thing out. Um, I know it runs already. Um, I started it up off camera. Shame on me. But here we go. As you can see, I kind of fiddled with the idle a little bit. Got it idling.
Too low. As long as she stays running. emergency brake right there I like that but uh, she's starting up with no choke or anything I'd say she's warmed up so let's get to this oil change <laughs> 